What is up, everyone? This is your Yankee Messiah here. Uh, it's good to be talking about some baseball at least once here on this channel. Uh, baseball, we know things are not looking good right now with the Major League Baseball lockout. Uh, we hope things get resolved soon so we can really talk about baseball full time here because I am getting bored talking about other stuff on this channel. So, I want to talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, Jason Dominguez. Now, y'all remember who Jason Dominguez is, right? This player signed with the Yankees as a 16-year-old, and they started calling him the Martian. Now, they're comparing Dominguez to current and former players. Some of the former players that they're comparing him to, Mickey Mantle. Bo Jackson, and they're also comparing him to Mike Trout. Now, he was ranked the 32nd best prospect in baseball before he stepped on American soil. Now, let's just flash forward a few years, and Dominguez just wrapped up his first season of playing baseball here in the States. Now, we all remember 2020. Um, this would have been his first year, but, you know, COVID wiped out the minor league season. You look at this kid's numbers. He was bad in 252 in 56 games, and this is against players several years older than him. And with all of the tools that this kid has, we believe he's going to be a really good player. But it's going to take some time. There's no question about it. But still, this guy went from being the 32nd best prospect in baseball to number 17, and he's only playing in low A ball. Now, this kid, without a shadow of a doubt, this kid's got a lot of hype. And the big story that I want to talk about here is that someone paid $474,000 for his rookie card. Yeah, you heard me. $474,000. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. At first, I was like, dang, that's freaking crazy, man. How are you going to pay $474,000 to, I mean... A player that hasn't even played a Major League Baseball season yet. I mean... Uh, I, I'll say this. I don't know anything about baseball cards. I really don't. Never collected baseball cards. I mean, sure. I, I had them as a kid. But never really cared about them. But... It does seem... A bit much. Now, I get that it's a one and one audio, audio, which makes the value soar. But, my God, that is a lot of money for someone who hasn't done anything in his career. And, you can't possibly have a significant other to this, right? I mean, how can you convince someone... You share a life with. Now, let's just say, for example, this guy was, this was a guy. How can you tell your wife that, oh, this was a smart move, that I paid $474,000 for this? Knowing the fact that this thing could bust in you. Now, now, if he does make money out of this, and I, I'll say to this individual, good luck to you. Good luck. But the person that actually got the money is this dude going to buy a house? Is this dude going to uh, pay for his uh, kid's college tuition? Or even... Is this person going to pay 
his student loans. Sure, student loans right now is a big thing right now. But if if Jason Dominguez turns into those players that I mentioned, then it's a steal for the person that that purchased the card. So, like I said, good luck to this individual. Uh, we'll see what happens. So, until then, it's your Yankee Messiah here. Uh, I might come out with some Patriot stuff la later on today. Until then, I'm out. Peace.